Oh, come on. No, 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 no. Oh. Hello and welcome back to N Plus One channel. This is Carl and today I'm playing Dark Souls 3. Now, this is kind of interesting because, well, I haven't really played a lot of Dark Souls 3. In fact, actually, I think I'm exceptionally bad at the third game, which is a little strange because uh, Dark Souls 2 was a foundational series for this channel. Uh, in fact, actually, my Dark Souls 2 videos are among the most popular on the channel with the first video with over 3,000 views and counting. So, well, what does that mean? That means that I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start Dark Souls 3. And let's make a new game. Yes, indeed. I agree entirely. It is called Lothric. Is that anything like Drang Lake? Where the transitory lands of the Lords of Cinder converge. In venturing north, the pilgrims discover the truth of the old words. The fire fades, and the lords go without thrones. Undead Legion, the Abyss Watchers. And the reclusive Lord of the Profaned Capital. See a giant? He looks like one of the giants from Dark Souls 2. Oh, yep, okay. I've always found their appearance to actually be really interesting because they basically have no faces. Only in truth, the lords will abandon their thrones. Kindled will rise. Nameless, accursed, undead, unfit even to be cinder. And so it is that ash. It's not a bad intro scene, actually. Um, yeah, I, I remember the Demon Souls little intro video, and I, yeah, it's fine. The music was never really great in that scene, but it had some really nice visuals. And then Dark Souls really kicked it up. Dark Souls 2 had an amazing little intro, and that one was actually pretty good. Um, I actually want to see myself. How am I supposed to kind of customize myself if I can't see me? Let's see here, switch view. There we go, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, so, 
I have played this a very small amount. Okay, nowhere near as much as I played Dark Souls 2 because I beat Dark Souls 2 um, on PlayStation 3. I never beat the uh, PS4 version, actually, and I never finished my Dark Souls 2 series on PS3 as well, which I should do that eventually. Uh, as I said earlier, those are definitely some of the most popular videos that I have on there. All right, so we have a choice of classes. Um, in Dark Souls 2, I always try to focus on uh, dex plus strength and then on like my magical abilities, especially once I started adding like, um, oh no, no, uh, with the hexes, I enjoyed uh, having a hex build. Though my understanding is that that actually changed, uh, they changed the balance with that. Pyromancer was honestly the class of choice for a lot of people with the original Dark Souls and, and there were some good reasons for it, honestly. Uh, Especially since Pyromancy took a while to actually get in the game, usually. I mean, a little while. Um, cleric. I cast Miracles. Alright, so I am just going to go with your white bread knight here, honestly. Um, burial Gift. What do we have? Okay. I'm going to go with the Life Ring. Um, got some different face presets here. Oh, oh, you poor thing. Londor, Shadow of Death, and an Erythilian. How do I play it? Wow, these are some really, really interesting choices, actually. I'm uh, making an Oblivion character, it looks like. Uh, let's see, 120 is the center. Just a little bit of life, just a little bit of color there. Oh, no, no, no. Nice. I am actually really, really digging the way that she looks. All right. Now comes the hard part, getting a name. All right, so name time, and let's call her... Let's call her Ulysses. Ulysses. There we go. I like that. Finalize that creation. Aw, oh, yeah. It's okay to start the game with that character. And we have awoken in the cemetery of ash. Nice. I wanna, wanna, I uh, gotta get, aha, okay, great. Equipment, let's take that off. You can see our character before she, uh, she gets all messed up. That's actually pretty nice. I, I like the way that she looks. Yeah, uh, it is, look. In games with character creators, I, it's so hard to make an aesthetically pleasing character, or at least one that you're happy with. It doesn't have to be aesthetically pleasing, I suppose. Let's read the message. Control the camera, I know that. Tell me something I don't know. R1 is regular attack. Pretty standard. R2 is strong attack. Hey, there's a guy. Target release. Hey there.
Ah, oh, man, I missed that first swing. I need to uh, get used to the length of my sword. All right, circle back step. Forgot about that. That's actually good to know. Move plus circle to dash. Hey, a hidden item, maybe. I like hidden items. Soul of a deserted corpse. Oh, they're getting a little bit, a uh, little bit of variance in the names. Not soul of a nameless soldier. Yeah. Uh, what we got here? Hey, I didn't even see you. What? How did I not see you? How did I really not see you? I just like walked up. All right, Ash and Estes Flask. What's that do? I, okay. Hold on. What does that even mean? Fill it, fill with Estes at bonfire, restores FP. HP, FP. Okay. Interesting. I don't know that I remember FP being a, a, a stat. All right, L1's guard. R1 behind an enemy critical hit. Or in other words, the... Okay, that was actually not expected. I thought I was gonna do the backstab or the critical hit or whatever the game wants to call it. Let's see here. So there's two ways I can possibly go. Is anything hidden there? No? All right. Parry, repel attack. And R1 to repost. L2 to parry. I'm trying to parry. I don't think I did the repost right. Or the repost. Uh, left click plus R1? No. Ah, okay. All right, what was on this side? What? What was that? I hear footsteps. Oh, okay, you just got, you got a thing. Ah, oh, my timing was poor. Let's see, I'm assuming Square still uses flasks. Good stuff. Gotta get that sunny D. All right. There's somebody sitting there. Oh, no, no, no. don't get up for me. Oh, you guys aren't dropping any items. I miss my undead, undead bird for items. What do we have here? Turn back. Oh, there's blood stains. What do we got here? What is back here? Something that'll kill me? All right, they rolled in. I see light. I see a tree. I don't see an enemy. Uh, I do see an item. I like the idea of an item. No? Come on, come on, tell me, tell me. Oh, cool. It's a shiny thing. Um, I don't know what your aggro range is. Maybe I can just kind of sneak. Oh, you're looking directly at this angle, though. It's whatever. Ah, cool. Hey. I got it. Let's try. Let's try. I don't even know you're okay. Freezy stuff, huh? Get out of the way. All right. Oh, it looks like I still have it a little bit. And he's gonna do. Actually, that was new. There we go. Nice. Not too bad so far. 
That's a really cool little move that you do there, buddy. I, uh, I accidentally unlocked. And avoid. Attack, attack, dodge. Oh, I love my iframe. And do, do, do. Ow, ow. Ha, ha, ha. Still doing okay, actually. I was gonna say, I know you can do it up to four times. Dodge roll. Oh man, this is exciting. Hey, 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 hey. That looks like it caused me some, some bull there, so I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to mess with that. I don't know what was up with that. I unlocked. The camera unlocked on me. And that was absolutely not what I was trying to do. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. Oh, I got a Titanite scale out of that. Oh, oh, oh. That is the, that is the infamous double kill. I guess. I don't know. <sighs> so I killed him. He killed me. Good times are had by all. That was actually kind of cool. Um, clearly, he's kind of an optional enemy in the beginning area. And it's not like I lost any real progress. It, it is a shame that I don't have... I guess, well, what is it? I only had like 140 souls. I mean, that's that's nothing, right? That is absolutely nothing. I can get that back. We've learned a little bit about the area. And I should have a run. Yeah, I got a run. Okay, so that way just had that one set of uh, soul item. Good stuff, good stuff. I think I'm off to a decent start. And we'll get you. You were the one I was supposed to learn the backstab on. And still not. Still not doing anything. I don't know why. I don't know why. All right, there's the guy here. Then dodge back. And then guy here. And I guess I'll just run in and, and get my souls. That sounds like... Oh, come on. I can't even run. Oh, I can kind of run. Not really. Oh, he stayed dead, though. That's interesting. So, one thing that they did with uh, Dark Souls 2 that they didn't do in Dark Souls 1 is that, like, you could kill enemies, I think, up to 14 times in an area. Uh, and then, of course, Dark Souls also had this, uh, this set of enemies, specific types of enemies that never respawned. And it looks like that blue ice creature is one of those items, or one of those items, one of those enemies that just doesn't respawn. Which I suppose is okay. I don't know, maybe I'm kind of up for a rematch though, right? Some of the lighting is kind of messing with me though. I'm used to seeing that bright white light and, and feeling like, okay, that's an item and I should go get that item. But right there, I saw that bright white light and that wasn't an item. But let's see here, we got 240 souls. I still don't know how I did not see that one guy earlier. Like that just blows my mind. Uh, let's see, have I been up this way? Thank you. What do we have here? Oh, that's just the tang telling you can kick. All right. Let's move forward. I have yet to get to... Uh, I have only got one item. Or uh, not one item. One weapon. Should be a yeah, two-hand it with triangle. All right. Oh, there's like a flickering going on there. I think that's just a graphical glitch, though. Hey, hey. Where are we getting to? 
a bonfire! Our first bonfire. Hello, hello. Light that bonfire. And go ahead and sit at it. Pretty sure I can't update, or uh... Okay, I got one rest. Oh, it counts your rests. That's an interesting idea. All right, so we have spent a very, 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 very small amount of time here in Dark Souls 3. I want to thank you so much for joining me. I like to keep my episodes about 30 minutes apiece. We are pretty much at that 30 minutes. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and like it. If you have anything to say, go ahead and comment. I love comments. I would respond to all comments. I love comment. And if you haven't subscribed yet, be my 170th subscriber. Right now, the channel is actually at 169 subscribers, and I would love to see more. And you know what? With that said, hey, let's keep doing the thing, and I will see you next time. Later.